so employee table has employee information ids employee their salary and department number department number is basically just number for the department we are not storing department name and all the addresses that will go in department table so let's see uh, selected the whole thing control enter okay table has been created so let me insert a couple of records uh, employee values so Hassan Mir as usually is the first record to go in salary let's say thousand uh, dollars department number 10 okay so Hassan works in department 10 okay this record has been inserted number two and you know yes you guessed it right that will be Larry Ellison and let's say he's also in department 10 and his salary is Okay. Now, and yes, you're right. Third one would be, as usually, Bill Gates, and he's in Department 20, and his salary is 1500. Okay. Should we go one more? No, this should be fine. Okay. So, from employee. So see this time I'm only uh, I'm just typing everything on one screen I'm just highlighting whatever I want to run and I'm just doing control enter instead of clicking on this run button you know just using the keyboard is much faster so this is the employee data we have okay now let's suppose you are asked to pull up all those employees information who work in department 10 and whose salary is uh, greater than or equal to 1500 or 1600 okay so, so where department is equal to 10 and where salary is greater than or equal to 1600 so this is what you have been asked for and you ran the query and you had a typo here you fix the typo you rerun the query and this is the result what you got okay this is the result that you got and you're gonna submit the result back now let's suppose you have been asked to modify the query now management wants to see all those people who work in department 10 and they have they earn 1600 or more or they work in department 20 and they make 1200 or more because we have a different criteria to judge department uh, 10 and different criteria for department 20 let's say we want to pull up all those people who are 1200 or more in department 20 now we have to put the brackets here otherwise it's not going to make sense so we want to see all those people who work in department 10 and who makes 1600 or more and also those people who work in department 20 and who make 1200 or more let's say this is our criteria okay we want to uh, find out who are uh, like white elephants in the company so that we can let them go so uh, uh, the judgment criteria for department 10 is different than department 20 let's say okay so this is the result what you got this is the, okay so now my point here is the use of bracket is very important okay for a couple of reasons so that the, your query is run as you expect it to run the second reason is easy to understand for yourself and for sake of others too because now you know that first you want to this is one this is one logic here this is another logic here and it's or condition between two logics okay so let's say you want to uh, fire all those people who are in department 10 and who sell the 1600 or more and you want to let all those people go who are in department 20 Whose salary is 1200 or more and you want to just you know terminate the whole department 30 okay so you really don't need uh, brackets here but it won't hurt you can put brackets here doesn't matter there is no department 30 but it's still the query would run okay so you can put extra brackets that's fine with Oracle as long as all the brackets that are opening are also closing okay if I forget to open the bracket that I'm closing Oracle will give me an error okay so that's the whole only purpose of this tutorial is to emphasize the use of brackets 
okay so in next tutorial we will complicate things a little further and step by step uh, manner we will become expert in sql i see you in next tutorial